Hello my lovies, welcome back to my true life. As you can see before me, I'm holding a six ring binder that is very, very shiny. I think they called it a laser binder, laser cover, because I got it from AliExpress. It's an A5 ring binder and it came with these paper sheets inside. The paper is not that great of a quality. The grit is very uneven and not well printed, but I was like, let me just use this journal because it was very affordable and create a media journal. And I was inspired by Evie Sai, who I'm subscribed to. And even though her style is not my style, I thought it was a great idea to keep a media journal. So thank you for that idea, Evie. <laughs> now let's uh, see how I gave this whole idea my own twist. So what I did was create these cards, vintage inspired cards in Canva, because I love that whole old library feel. Now, honestly, I don't like the white paper because it's like too fresh and new. I should have had some more yellowy paper. However, this is what I had. And then I had my Canon selfie printer and I printed out four shows that I really, really loved. An old timer like Madman, and then some newer K-dramas that have just been released by Netflix, like um, Bloodhounds. And that was a great show, by the way. I mean, <laughs> I was very distracted by the plot. <laughs> Did you see that meme? They were like, oh, the plot. And then you see the guys without their shirts. And I was like, oh my God, I cannot unsee this now. Anyway, <laughs> I actually did like the actual plot. So what I did, like I said, is I found the movie posters and then I printed them out with my Canon selfie printer, which is like the best investment ever because you can make these mini photo postcards or Polaroid size photos. And I love using them in my journals. All I have to do is make sure that I cut them out neatly and place them in my journal wherever I like. And then you've got this really nice photo quality picture in your journal, in this case, my media journal. So one of my favorite shows of all time is Mad Men. So some of you may already know I have my own business and it's a marketing agency. And that was my first business. And then my, no, sorry, my first business was a beauty web shop. <laughs> my second business is a marketing agency. My third business is an online business school for entrepreneurs. However, Mad Men was such an inspirational show to me because they run um, a commercial agency. And for me, that was such a like inspiring show to watch because I'm also in the agency world. Although I'm Dutch, and the Dutch agency world is definitely less exciting than what is portrayed in Mad Men. So yeah, I decided to create my first spread on Mad Men and to really write down why I like that show so much. I've seen it like three or four times, like the whole entire series. So here I am going through Flow Magazine, which is one of my favorite magazines, and I had some stamps. I decided to create my own ephemera. And honestly, I had like a little bit of a um, cluttered mind while I was making this, but that's also why I'm doing this. So for context, I love journaling and in this case creating a media journal because it helps me clear my mind. It's an activity that has nothing to do with a screen, nothing to do with work, but just me, my creativity, some paper, some glue, <laughs> scissors and stickers. It's just fun. It's a different way to relax and to really realize what you've been consuming all of this time because like I said, I watch a shit ton of shows and movies because that is i don't know i just kind of grew up with that my parents got divorced and whenever we went to my biological father's house there would be movies and we would watch a lot of tv which is not the best parenting honestly but i guess that's where my love for movies and shows started and so as an adult i still watch a lot of uh, movies and shows so I was experimenting with the style that I wanted in my media journal and I couldn't really figure it out. So I just started doing stuff. So honestly, I don't really like how this came out, but I guess that's part of what journaling is about. 
you just grab the stuff you have and you start creating these spreads and see where it goes and it is also a reflection of where you are at in life so i found this spread to be creative it was something i've never created before in this way because i don't really use like black washi tape i rarely use washi tape anymore by the way um and i also was like messing around with the layout i couldn't really find my groove but I kind of like how that shows you where I am in life. I'm in this really creative process where I'm creating new products. I am working out five days a week. I'm really trying to get myself back in focus. But with that, it comes letting go of certain thoughts, behaviors, and that can make your mind go a little bit like all over the place because you're like shifting and organizing your brain, if you will. And I can always definitely see that in my journal spreads, what is happening with my mind. If they're a little meshy in a way, then I can tell that my brain is messy. So anyway, I was trying to find a good composition and I ended up putting the uh, picture of the Madman cast on the right top of the page. And this is one of my favorite Caveco um, fountain pens. This is the Fine Nib, I believe. And because I had a bit of a orange tone in the spread with the blue, I wanted to go with that theme that you always saw in Mad Men because I think it was like set in like the, not the 20s, the 50s, 60s? Yeah, 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 somewhere around that era, I forgot. But um, yeah, they always had like that groovy kind of color scheme going on and I wanted to, uh, let the spread reflect that. So I used this beautiful blush colored fountain pen ink and I do like how it just jumps off the page because that movie card that I created, that little file card that's printed out on white paper, it made the ink pop out a little bit more. So yeah, I actually like how I'm trying to find my groove with this. All right, so the reason why I chose a six ring binder is because I already know that it's gonna annoy me if I went with a normal notebook because then you cannot take out the sheets of paper. And I am very huge on organizing. So um, as I keep filling the pages with movies and shows that I watched, I already know I'm gonna wanna use those sheets with the tabs and I'm, I'm gonna wanna order every movie and show, for example, by genre, and then I wanna order them uh, alphabetically or by release date. I already know that I'm gonna wanna change up the pages, and I can't do that if it's like in a binded notebook. So that's why I chose the six ring binder. Also, it's easier to transfer it to another six ring binder if I want to switch out pages or try out a different layout by using tabbed pages and creating sections. So yeah, I think if you're just like me and you like creating a media journal and you like keeping track of what you've been watching, then a six ring binder might be a good idea, especially if you like reorganizing everything you've watched, like creating an actual archive for yourself. And this is my trusted date stamp. <laughs> and so I stamped the date on which I made this. And for some of the shows and movies, I don't even remember when I watched them. Sometimes I rewatch them like four times, like Death Note, you know, the anime. I saw that at least five times, okay? That is my favorite, favorite, favorite anime of all time. So I don't even know when I watched it the first time. I just kept watching it again and again. <laughs> so the date when I watch it doesn't really matter to me. But if something is like quite fresh, like Vincenzo and Bloodhounds, I watched those um, in June, July of this year, 2023. So then it's easier for me to remember when I'm journaling for my media journal that I watched them in June, July of 2023. And then I will at the date. So this is a little close up of how it came out. And I really like that archive, archive, archive card that I created. Um, Cause it really does remind me of those old film studio sets as well, where they have like these spreadsheets and call sheets for all the actors and they usually were like a little vintage inspired. 
And then the right page I used to like get my thoughts out about the show and I have a lot of thoughts, why it inspired me, why I like the show, who's like my favorite character, what did it do to me. So for example, Mad Man, it really inspired me because I am an agency owner myself and I liked seeing how they sort of kind of used to do it back in the day when agencies were just invented. And I really like that. So yeah, this is what I came up with up till now. A few weeks later, I made this new spread for Move to Heaven. And I honestly really like how it came out. It is a bit less busy on the page, but I still really like this whole beautiful sky theme. And as I am flipping through this media journal, which I'm just starting out, I kind of like how busy and colorful it is. It's very different from my business bullet journal, which is like all black and white. <laughs> so yeah, it is fun to see that this is just a cute project that makes me happy. The colors are cute. The colors are fun. I can just express myself about the movies and shows that impacted me. And I hope it inspires you to create your own media journal if you like watching movies too. So love you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe. See you in the next one. Goodbye.